they will learn how they uh, play with the colors and how they will give us uh, some texture, some effect, like ocean effect. And uh, as we can say, they will learn a new thing in art. Uh, this is kind of old, but uh, new in our uh, Bahraini culture, this kind of art, and I hope they will enjoy. My hobbies are like most sports, but I also really like arts and I like being creative. I'm here today because the, uh, the concept of fluid art is really interesting and I thought I'd try it. I really like art and I came here so I can learn how to do fluid art and how I can do it in my house and make it for my parents. I like art. I, I came here I came here because I like how Fluid art sounds interesting and I like how art is, art is so wet. This workshop comes in collaboration with the Embassy of Thailand. It is part of the programs and activities of Bahrain Summer Festival's 15th edition, where we make sure uh, to collaborate with different embassies to enrich the cultural exchange between our countries. The children will learn how to make one of the most famous Thai dishes, the mango sticky rice, which will give them an insight on the Thai culture. Today we are here at the Café Darcine at National Abari National Museum and today we are going to have a Thai dessert workshop. Here uh, we, this is organized by the Royal Thai Embassy together with the Baga and this is the second year that we have been doing this and from the first year we received a very good response so that's why we would like to continue for the second year for this workshop and today we are going to have the Thai mango sticky rice and the Thai coconut jelly. For Thai mango sticky rice, the main ingredient is, as you know, is the mangoes. Mango is the fruit that is actually uh, represent a summer in Thailand and I'm sure in everywhere in Southeast Asian region too. It's the fruit that you can have it all year long, but best during summer because the mango can help cool you down and refresh. 
So the main ingredients for Thai mango sticky rice, it will be the mango, of course, and the uh, sticky rice, and then the coconut milk, which we will um, kind of make it flavorful with uh, sugar and then the salt. So, and for the coconut jelly, mainly will be the coconut milk, of course, coconut juice, and then sugar, salt, and the gelatin powder to make it as a jelly. So, I really hope that today everyone will enjoy these two Thai famous uh, and easy dessert. children loved the activity and they kept going back and forth with their parents to show them what they made and how proud they are and the parents were as proud as they were. Uh, the sweets were very yummy and all the kids loved it and they weren't picky and they just had an amazing time and the people from Thai's embassy were as sweet as ever with the kids. Today I learned that uh, sticky rice, like mango sticky rice, is actually the rice is like, it tastes like coconut, not like rice, but it's delicious. Uh, I, I thought it was delicious because I love Thailandy food. And I love this workshop, it was so fun. And this clothes is also from Thailand. It's actually my auntie, she gave it to me. Like this is like a really nice workshop. Like it teaches you how to do a nice foods, and this is actually a nice one. So it's like mango with rice, coconuts. It's so nice. I love it. And also the jelly uh, is actually good. Also, it's like has some uh, different flavors. So I think I love this workshop. I learned how to make sticky rice and fancy jelly. It was easy. It's rice and coke and coconut cream or milk. And then we're supposed to put it in the tin and then put mangoes on top and then put coconut milk over it again. I really like the recipe and I find it a nice dessert because it's so nice and sticky. Today I really like how I uh, did the mango, it's delicious and it's, I really like the dessert because 
it tastes good and it's easy to do and the sticky jelly it's uh, delicious too and uh, it's easy to do I use the, uh, the mango and the uh, jelly and the sticky rice